Welcome back. While Bill and Ted face the music, we're meeting a woman who walks to the beat of her own drum, which has landed her some phenomenal gigs with international superstars, including a role on the much-anticipated sequel. Joining us now is professional drummer and actress Patty Ann Miller. Patty, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So you just landed your first role in Bill and Ted Face the Music, and that came out recently. How did that yes. happen? How did you get discovered? Oh, man, it's, it's actually a cool story. So I was on a gig, and I received a DM message from a casting agency from New Orleans. And she, you know, explained everything. You know, we're looking for a drummer for the, the new Bill and Ted 3. And I'm like, is this real? You know, like, <laughs> right. like is this real? So she said, it's okay, you can check us out, we're legit. So basically I did the whole process, I sent all my information, my drum videos, everything. So there was actually stages. So mm -hmm. I made it to a certain part and I had to do a self-tape, which is my first time doing a self-tape for a movie. And it was so cool, I had the proper help. And uh, I, I sent that off and man, like the producers and the director, they loved me and I ended up booking it. And I was like out the next day, it was, it was like, wow, this is a dream come true. Because wow, look at that, yeah. It's literally on my vision board. I'm a big believer of the law of attraction. So I've, I've had pictures of like lights, camera, action, you know, just certain things like that. And I just feel like when you're aligned and everything is meant to happen, it happens and it, it happened and I'm in the movie. I love that. You know, you put it out there and the first one, you knocked it out of the park. Now, what was that experience like? Because it's your first time on a movie set, I guess. <laughs> Oh my God, it was so amazing. Like, uh, like, like Keanu, Alex, Dean, like the, the producers, the, the cast, everybody had such beautiful energy, you know, and it was just seamless. Like I, I was watching everything, watching how they do things. I'm like this, I love it. It's my first time being on a movie set. I've been on sets before, but this is the first time I've been on a movie set. So I was like, I love this. I'm ready for the next role. Where, where's <laughs> All right. So that acting bug has hit you a little bit. And you also, you're a professional drummer. Talk about when you started playing music. Yeah, I actually started playing drums when I was 10 years old. Uh, it was uh, something that was definitely innate because when I sat behind the drum kit, I didn't have to think about it. I just played. So that right there was an indication that this is something, this is a gift within. So that continued for a while. My parents saw that I had a gift when they, you know, went to my concert. They're like, oh, my baby could play. So we're <laughs> gonna get her a drum set, you know? So they got me a drum set and they nurtured my gift over the years, which is so important when you have support at such a young age. So I never stopped. And it wasn't until like about seven years ago that I decided to, focus solely on drums because there were so many things that I wanted to do. I wanted to act, I wanted to dance, I wanted to drum. But you have to kind of focus on one thing first and let that kind of lead you down the line, you know? And that's what I did. So I've been professional six years. So I grinded for like that one year when I decided to play drums and then I just kept it up and I landed my first gig with CeeLo Green. That was my first major gig. Um, and it just continued, and it's been an amazing journey. Yeah, it looks like you've been in some commercials, um, you've done yeah. some TV shows, and I can't leave out, you studied at the Berkeley College of Music, very prestigious, you had a full ride scholarship, so, I mean, music is just in your blood. Yeah, it's in me, and rhythm is definitely in me for sure. Uh, that was an awesome story. I was actually working at Guitar Center, and there was a sergeant guy that came in, and I was fooling around on the drums, and he approached me, he was like, wow, you're really good. And I'm like, thank you. And he's like, so what do you do with your life? I'm like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, do you want to go to, you know, do you want to go to school and learn music? And I'm like, because mm, I wanted to do business. That's what I wanted to do. I want to do business. And he was like, okay. We talked. Next day he called my job and was like, look, I feel like God wants me to put you on the right path. And it was crazy because I had been praying for direction. And he said, look, Berkeley College of Music is having scholarships and auditions for scholarships. And I think this would be a great opportunity for you. So I decided <laughs> to do that. Wow. And I mean, Patty Ann, it just sounds like these, these opportunities keep coming to you. But you're very talented. You've had some really cool experiences. You've gone on tour. Tell us about your touring yes. experiences. And then, and then I'm going to ask you about Beyonce, too. Yeah, sure, of course, of course. My first tour was with CeeLo Green. We opened up for Lionel Richie. 
man, I mean, it was a blast. Like, you know, we had our own bus. We were comfortable. We had the food, the catering. <laughs> it was just, it was a joy. And then, you know, you relax pretty much for the, for the majority of the day. You have sound check, and then it's showtime at night. So it was just like, it's such a blessing when you do what you love and you can travel and doing what you love. It's, it's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, and then, okay, so let's talk about Beyonce. Beyonce, Bowl, okay. I mean, this is no little gig. Yeah, it was, that was obviously probably the biggest gig because there were millions of people tuned in yeah, to the, the show. Yeah, the halftime show. Don't be bashful. <laughs> it, it, was, it was amazing. Like, Beyonce, she's a hard worker. She, man, she controls everything. Like, she's the boss, for sure. Like, she's just, man, I was just looking at her and like, wow, like, she literally controls anything from like, this is the angle I want, you know? It's like, okay, you, you, you're you amazing, you know? So that was a great experience. And, you know, just being on that field and the energy and it was just, it's even hard to explain that, you know, just the feeling, mm -hmm. but it was great. It was great to work with her and, uh, you know, I'm continuing my journey. Yeah, well, Patty, and you talk about energy. I feel your great energy. Um, sounds like you're going to keep drumming. We're going to look out for you in some more uh, acting roles. What advice, though, can you offer now to someone who's coming up? They want to play the drums professionally, or maybe they want to launch a career in entertainment. You say that you've kind of just put it out there, and you aligned yourself, and, and it's just kind of finding you. Is that is that how it works? Yes. My thing is I feel like everybody should follow their passion, follow their heart. I feel like that's the compass to leading you to your ultimate destiny. So if there's something in you that you feel this is something innate, find like follow that. That's that's a key indication that something that's what you should be doing. So I just say, whatever you love, do it. Just follow down that path. Uh, have ambition. Have determination. Believe in yourself, and just align yourself with the possible opportunities that are out there for you. That's right. what I would tell. I love it, Patty Ann Miller. You can catch her. And Bill and Ted face the music, and you can also keep up with her on her website, pattyannmiller.com.